Welcome to part two of the valve tutorial. Here we're going to be modeling the turn knob that you see in red and the nuts and bolts. Make sure you work in millimeters. We're going to start with an end gun of six sides. Type 30 millimeters for the radius and click create. That will center it on the board. Now let's add a cylinder. The cylinder has a radius of 8, the height is 10. It has 5 segments and 18 sides. You can unclick smooth and click on create. Select the end gun and spin it about 30 degrees. Now let's turn the perspective view a little bit so we can work on that side on this end here. Convert the cylinder to an editable poly. Select these polygons and apply inset. We'll edit this vertices to create a rounded shape. Move the up a little bit here. Move this down a little bit. And for these other ones, make sure you use edge constraint to move the vertices so they stay within their edges. Now select these polygons and delete them or remove them. Now let's make a duplicate of the cylinder. Select and drag. Make a copy and make sure you center it on the end of the vertice. Flip it around using mirror, then attach it to the other cylinder. Select the borders of both of them and apply bridge. Now select the vertices here and move them down. Make sure you uncheck the constraint. Select these polygons and apply inset again. We're going to make the same kind of roundish shape of these uh, polygons. We we'll select the polygons and remove them. Let's select the model and apply symmetry. I'm sorry, I, over here I did I I cut off part of the uh, video, but uh, just apply symmetry so that the other side has the holes as well. Convert it to a editable polygon and delete these polygons. Now move the pivot to zero location. Using array, create six copies. On the z-axis, type 60. Change the uh, quantity to 6 and click on preview. Just make sure this area will be um, not overlapping. Converting all of this to an editable poly. Then attach each one of them to each other so it's all one piece. Now select the vertices in the center here and apply weld. We're going to uh, you know, look at the numbers before and after. I'm going to close this area. Select these borders and cap them. We can select now these cut holes and uh, bridge them in, in pairs.
Now we can remove these lines in here, the top and bottom, of course, and all of them using control backspace. Now select all the uh, caps you see in these cir uh, circles and inset. Apply inset a couple of times. I'm just guessing the size. Now the wheel is is all rounded, so I'm going to use a circle or two circles for guides. One for each of the uh, the two uh, braces, and we're going to select the model here. Select all the edges here, and apply apply connect with three lines or three segments. Press Control Vertex to select them as vertices, and then using the uniform scale move them outside, kind of following the edge of the uh, circles we made. Click on shrink and you'll have the center selected, the center of the vertices. Use this method, which is a lot more accurate and a little, um, a little better. So now we're almost there. I want to remove the center caps here to create the opening for the uh, or the bolt, apply turbo smooth, and we're done. To make the nuts and bolts, go to the Autodesk App Store and download the script Nuts and Bolts. It is, it is free to download. It does a fairly good job, and it's easy to install. You can see here the idea of what you can do with it. After you download it and you install it, it will show up here as Exchange Store. Click on Nuts and Bolts and you'll be able to practice or make new bolts and nuts. So here I'm going to put it together with a previous tutorial. So here's my uh, valve and the wheel. I'm just estimating the size here and the, the height. So we're going to add uh, the nuts and bolts. Open nuts and bolts script and click on preview. You can make adjustments by looking at the preview. Most of these numbers in here, they mean uh, millimeters. Uncheck a few of these links and then uh, proceed to make the uh, changes on sizes. I'm just visually trying to adjust the size of this nut at the bottom to the top piece here. You can also copy the numbers I'm doing, but it's, it depends how, how big you want to make these things. This one is a little smaller. That's the head of the uh, bolt here. So you can also do this. When you're ready, click on Create, and this will make the nuts and bolt, and it will center it on your screen. So I'll move this up and see what we've done here. This bottom piece is pretty good size. That's about what I like to see there. Notice this is open here, but on the source it's closed. So you can edit these things when you select the nut and go to edit. You see that it's already pre-selected. Some of these things you can just remove them. Select the edge here, make sure it's capped, and then you can select that polygon and apply inset. Do it a couple of times. I estimate the size of the bolt by looking at just a picture. Add a little bit of an edge here. And we're done with that. Now we can edit the small bolt here. Some things we have to do here, for example, uh, let's edit 
this is by default selected what's in red deselect the bottom part and just detach the part that's selected you can give it another name now we're going to flip the bolt it's supposed to have the threads on the other side flip using white axis and move it down and this bolt now can fit here you can make uh, further adjustments here such as put a hole in the center um, on the uh, source this has the top and the bottom looking the same so you can always have symmetry and then we can move this to look a little more like the uh, source you can cut a hole in the center if you want to and finally the washer or this washer could be used for that thin label that goes on top here after this pretty much you have to uh, use um, add some materials after this you can just use them um, after this add the materials you need I have some red plastic for the wheel and some brass for the uh, rest notice the rough area on this on the bottom part I just added some noise as a bump and you can play with those numbers thanks for watching